So welcome to my studio, the messy version of everything. This is post filming and as you can see, my studio is a hot mess girl. I'm going to be transforming this entire space. I just don't like the setup in here. I feel like it needs to be a lot cleaner and just a lot more organized. I'm beyond ready for this entire room to change, particularly the lighting as well. I do not like this yellow type of a lighting, so I wanna go for something a lot brighter. Okay, so right here is where I keep my PR. I need to go through that because it's looking a hot mess, put stuff away, organize it, all of that. And then over here is where I have my trash currently and just the room is a hot mess. All right, so this right here is the closet and I definitely want to do some work on this organization. As you can see, the top is packed and right here is where I typically keep my hair products but I want to change this as well we will have our studio equipment I usually keep my studio equipment in the closet when I'm not filming and I also want to organize that a little bit better so step one is getting rid of stuff that I'm no longer going to use in the new setup and the first thing to go was my green sofa chair I sold this on five miles and now it's time to organize all right so here's the progress I've unmounted this off of the wall and now I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way so that way I can play with the spacing. All right, so I have moved this cabinet over here to the left and I now have my vanity here. And I'm not sure if I like it. It does change up the feel. So now when I stand in front of it, this is what I see. And I don't know that I like that. I kind of liked seeing this behind it, <laughs> but I can say that I love how open it is. It gives me way more space to film. Pretty much like right here would be my couch. I'm gonna need a really small couch. So I'm thinking that that might make the, this area feel a little bit better because when I look behind me, I will see my couch. And another thing that I can do, do something cute to that wall. So that way when I look behind me, I see the wall. Uh, but for now, this is what I've done so far. All right, so I'm preparing to paint. And right now I've added the drop cloth to the floors, I've also taped off all of the baseboards, and I've also taped off um, the closets. I filled in all of the holes in the wall just to make sure that I get a really nice even coat. I do have some paint swatches so you guys can see um, where I'm going with this. Right here is Bare 52 White. And I didn't like this color because to me it looks too grayish blue. So I ended up deciding on Polar Bear, which is a little bit warmer, but in comparison with my baseboards, it's still pretty um, bright. So I think this will be the perfect color to do my room. I got this custom mixed at Home Depot. This is the matte Bear Ultra Base and I made sure to get it in a flat mat. So I made sure to put on some gloves. You definitely wanna protect your hands when painting and I just used this little tool that they give you to open and stir my paint. So I started off by outlining all of the walls and I tried my best to do everything neat and do everything nice and clean, but I'm definitely not a pro. It took me a while to learn how to use everything properly. As you can see, my first coat is real uneven because I didn't know what I was doing, but I did learn over time. All right, you guys, so here is the progress on the room. I am going to end up doing three coats on this wall, actually on all walls, because I needed a primer, but I didn't purchase one. So as you can see, like this is what it looks like with just one coat and then two coats around the trim, like the edges of the um, room. So I actually am gonna need two more coats after that, but I can already tell that the lighting is like 
just bouncing so much better in here. I love it. I definitely want to change this fixture in here. I've been looking online and I think I want to go for something flat. I feel like it will really just change the look of the room. All right, so this is my room so far. I've also moved this onto where the stud is. So I use my stud finder to move this. I know that this needs to be moved to the left a smidge and then I'm also going to move the bracket over so it will be right on the stud and I've decided to hang my wall shelf that was right there on this corner so I'm excited to see my studio transform right now I'm just going to bring some of my stuff back in here and then soon we'll be doing this light fixture all right you guys so so far we have this big shelf with the glass door mounted and I also have my corner shelf mounted. I did have to remove a couple of the shelves. And now I'm gonna go purchase a flower to go on that shelf. I'm also going to put away all of my products and organize them into these shelves. I put this bin on top. I'm gonna keep all of my business files and stuff in there. And then um, I just gotta clear out this room. I'm gonna just start organizing. When it comes to the closet, we've made progress in here as well. I removed all of the wire shelves that were on this wall. I've also patched up the hole. And this shelf is now the shelf that my studio equipment's gonna go on. And I'm gonna just paint these walls. So I will paint these walls next week and then Next weekend, I will be headed off to Ikea to get the bookshelves that will go on this wall. Oh, I got a lot to do, girl. Look at that table. Oh, I got a lot to do. So everything that I used for my light will be linked down below. I purchased all of it from Amazon. So this is the box that my light came in and everything was packaged real secure. Nothing was broken, thank God. So I was able to hop straight up in there and get it done. There was also a lot of video tutorials here on YouTube on how to install it. I will link the ones below that helped me to accomplish this light fixture installation all by myself. So the first thing I did was just install the brackets onto the mount. I had to take the ceiling fan down completely and I will also have that video that I used to learn how to take down my ceiling fan link below just in case you have one too and then I connected all of the wires and everything and just make sure that your power is off and then I screwed and secured everything onto the wall nice and flat it was super easy check out the videos I got below like it'll help you get it together all together this cost me $85 and that $85 includes the lights as well and the switch that I installed into the wall to dim the lights all right so it's the great reveal time to see if I did it right <sighs> yay I did it I did it oh my gosh you guys I installed this all by myself and I a switch all by myself a dimmer oh my gosh oh i did it it's exciting So me and the fam headed off to Ikea to get three items. I picked out the Alex drawer unit, the five drawers, and I also got two Billy bookcases, the 79 and a half inch shelves, and then I got the 15 by 3 fourths inch and the 31 and a half inch shelf. I would get eight, eight of them. Yeah, because it's like 15. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's good you guys so I'm in the final stages of my studio transformation I have picked up everything that I had on my list at Ikea and now we're just bringing it upstairs into my beauty room and getting ready to put everything together first I think I'm going to paint my closet which I've already got taped up and sectioned off so there goes my paint and supplies so I'm gonna just paint these three walls this one this one and this one so once I get that done, then I can put everything away in the closet and everything like that. So that's what's next. So here is the closet freshly painted. I just have to put back up my shelf after it's dried at least for 24 hours. It is ready to go, you guys. And it looks really good. 
Now they're just a little bit brighter and all of the holes are gone. They are fully covered up with paint. I've put together both bookshelves. All that I have left to do is just put the nails on the back of this one, but it's pretty late and I don't want to be loud, so I'm not going to do it yet. And then um, once it's dry in there, we'll map them. But they were really, really easy to put together. All right, you guys, so we are getting it nice and organized up in here, putting away stuff. We got all of the equipment up on this shelf. Um, I don't have my lights in here yet. This pocket I have over here, I can tuck away tripods and other things. I don't like these two baskets, so I bought some white baskets that I will pick up tomorrow. But other than that, it's coming together pretty nicely. I don't know what I'm gonna put on the top two shelves but I'll figure that out a little bit later. Now, so basically I'm going through all of my products, putting them away. This is all the stuff that I had. These bins were stashed in my room. Um, I've decided that that bin's gonna go outside. This is all of the boxes to like my camera equipment and stuff. I like to keep that just in case. But the rest of this stuff is just makeup. This is a thing full of makeup in here. So I'm gonna go through that, try to give everything a home and get it nice and organized. Really, it's just the stuff on the floor that I've gotta get a home uh, for and that's about it. So that's what I'm working on right now. All right, you guys, so to replace those bins, I went to Target and I got the Y Weave Room Essentials bins. I got two of the medium size for the top of my closet, and then I got two of the extra large ones for the bottom. I also got another extra large one for my PR just to organize it. All right, so my couch just got here and this is how it arrived. Now, my expectation was for it to be more of like a mustard color. This is the color that I thought it was gonna be. And it honestly looks more like a lime green. So I don't know how in the world this is a yellow because it looks far from yellow. I don't know if it's because it's nighttime or what, but child, this looks like a straight up lime green. So when you first walk in, you see my couch and you also see the pictures that I have on my wall. Here is my little Alex drawers, which is just basically makeup storage. And it's also filled with some of my essential books and like my Bible and stuff. My favorite drawer in this Alex drawer is actually my foundation drawer. What I did was I created this little organizer that I seen on Kimberly's channel. I'll have it linked in the description box, but it has everything looking so neat and so beautiful. I love it. Here we have my little embrace you and be bold slogan. And then I have this candle, which I got from Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast. Then I have this adorable plant, which I purchased from TJ Maxx. So on the couch, we have this pillow to your right, which is from Target. And then these two small fuzzy pillows are actually from Five Below. It was one pillow that I cut in half and then I sewed it to make it into two. And then this pillow right here is from Target as well. This couch is perfect for this space since it is such a small room. And what I love about it is the fact that it's velvet. I really wanted a velvet couch. So it's a really soft couch and it's easy to clean. My girl's got something on it right here in this spot. And as you can see, it's already gone. So we've got my logo. I framed my logo and artwork. Now these are just pictures that I printed. I got these small frames from Michaels. They're on sale right now. So I paid like $11 for two frames. These are eight by eight floating frames. Then I use my silhouette cameo to print off these uh, little pictures. When you come to the left, you'll see my vanity. And this is a custom stool that I made. I told you guys about this in a different video. We then have my custom mirror, which 
I do have a tutorial for this you guys so if you have not seen the tutorial for this custom mirror you are missing out and then we have a little corner shelf here I purchased this off of Amazon it's actually longer but I altered it just to be four shelves rather than six and it fits perfectly in that little space. This is a plant. I got the flowers from Hobby Lobby a while ago, but I feel like it looks really good. So then when you go to the left, you will find this organizer and these are two of the recollection drawers that I purchased for Michaels a long time ago. I have them stacked on top of each other and then on top I have some stuff for my lip collection. So this one I got from Home Goods, and then the one on top I got from Ross I believe. And then I got some lotions because girl you cannot be ashy up in your videos. So we have lotion, we have another candle. This one is the one that I burned. The other one's more decorative. Of course I'll burn it eventually. And just to keep everything nice and clean especially since I do makeup and hair I have disinfectant wipe so next when you move to the left you will find we have our next storage I purchased this from Ikea about two years ago or a year and a half ago and it has been a lifesaver and everything of course will be in the description box so up top here I have this little box and this is basically just for documents we have our headphones that I use for he editing my fan which I use to dry my makeup and then this mirror which I use in all of my videos so I can see my hair and my face and stuff. When you move to the left, you'll see my uh, Kallax drawers. These were also purchased from Ikea as well. And then this is where I film a lot of my videos. So right here on the side is where I keep my remote. And you can change the colors of the lights if you want to. I purchased this from Home Depot but they also have them on Amazon as well. So that's the Calyx drawers. I believe it cost around $200 with the drawer inserts and baskets and everything. I will have that linked as well. So then when you move to the left, you will see my scripture wall. This is where I keep all of my scriptures, all of my scriptures that I, I have for this season and just to help me stay encouraged, girls. So what I did to hang this up is I just took a nail and I just wrapped the wire around the nail and then nailed it into the wall. And I used math to determine where I wanted these to go and I think it came out really cute. So then above that, we have my dreams, what I'm going for and all of that. Um, down here in this basket is specifically for PR and packages, things that I need to sort through or that I want to film with. That's where my new stuff comes in at. I take it out the box and put it in that bin. So y'all know I installed this light switch. So it controls my chandelier, which I can turn up or down to where it's basically like really a non-existent light. When you dim it all the way down, it's amazing. I recommend this so much. And total, in total, it cost me like $85. And installation was really easy. Y'all saw I did it myself. And then last but not least, we have the closet. And so here's the finished look of my closet, which I absolutely love. I love how much walking space I have when I come in here. I love the fact that my equipment is like all in its own little space and I didn't have to break it down super small. My tools and stuff are hidden behind the door, but it doesn't interfere with being able to push the door back. And then on the door, we have our jewelry organizer, which this is from Amazon as well. So yes, if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Now, as far as being able to film, I have all this space here in the middle. And because my couch is so small, I can move it pretty much anywhere. It will be able to fit in this space right here whenever I need to film against this wall, if I need a white backdrop or whatever, or if I just need more space. So I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation video. I'm super pleased. I'm super happy with how my room came out, girl. I'm very thankful that I had the opportunity just to do everything myself. I hope that this transformation video inspires you to customize your space. Make it your own, girl. Don't be afraid to paint those walls, to move things around, to reorganize, to change things up. Like, it's so worth it in the end. So I'm really excited just about my space. It's it's everything, girl. It's, it's everything. Remember to embrace you and be bold, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.